And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Maokai Mill. That's right, it's going to be our second Maokai Spotlight Night deck. And this one's going to be kind of our more janky deck out of the three, a little bit more meme tier out of the three. Um, so maybe we won't have the best record with this one, but it's going to be a lot of fun. And if we're spotlighting the champion, let's spotlight it with something that's definitely different than any other deck in the game and something that can be a lot of fun. So basically what we have here is we have a low cost deck. As you can see, our, our curve stops at three, except for our three Maokais. Where really what we're gonna be doing is gonna be trying to level up Maokai. That's gonna be what, what the goal is, okay? Because we need to have 25 units die or uh, tossed and level up this Maokai. And once we level up the Maokai, we obliterate the enemy deck, only leaving four non-champions. From that point, they have their normal draw step, which draws one of those cards. We have the Hexcore Foundry. They can make them draw more cards. And then we have Veteran Investigator. This is how we mill them out, is by getting rid of their entire deck. And that's how our deck's gonna win. We're not dealing 20 damage with this deck. It's all about uh, just controlling the board and like staying alive, making sure they don't kill us and get rid of their deck and get rid of all their cards. Because you lose the game if you have to draw a card and you have no cards left in your deck. So the Veteran Investigator is when I'm summoned, all players draw one. And so that means our opponent as well. But three Veteran Investigators isn't going to cut it. We need more. And so we have Counterfeit Copies. That's one mana, uh, be able to create four more Veteran Investigators in our deck. We have Fading Memories. They can also copy Veteran Investigator and give us more copies of that. And then we also have Stalking Shadows. Like if we play Stalking Shadows and grab Veteran Investigator, boom, that's two copies of Investigator right there. And so once we level up our Maokai, then we wanna play like four Investigators and just make them draw all four of the, those cards. And then they draw their card for turn and they lose the game. So that's the goal with our deck. We, so we're gonna need to like toss a bunch, have a bunch of things die and level up Maokai. The reason why Callista's in here is Callista's kind of, it's kind of bait to begin with. <laughs> it, you know, maybe our opponent like is trying to kill our Callistas and stuff like that. Cause again, attacking them isn't really that important. But if we do have like three things die, like from Blighted Caretaker or, or just like other, other units that we're just blocking with, cause we just want to sit back and block as much as we can. If we can get three other allies to die and level up Callista, then whenever it attacks, it puts in the strongest allied follower which the strongest follower in our deck is going to be Dead Bloom Wanderer, actually. And putting Dead Bloom Wanderer into play is a great one to put into play, right? Because we attack with Callista and then we just toss three. Like that's going to really supercharge our Maokai level up. Um, so that, that's what we have going with uh, those two. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's give it a try. Let's play some Maokai Mill. Hopefully we can get some, some wins over here in ranked with this one. We don't have like a whole lot of like interaction for the opponent. We can't really kill champions. We don't really kill units. We can't really stop elusives. So there are definitely some holes in the deck. But if our opponent just doesn't kill us too fast, and if we're able to level up Maokai, we can uh, steal some wins. Sand looks good. Looks good. Keep it. This is exactly what we want early on. We don't have a Maokai, of course, but that's okay. Uh, we're, we got some toss, we got a blocker, we got some card advantage, we got one champion. Yeah, they always kill Callista. That's what we're hoping. We're hoping they're just distracted by the Callista and they don't kill us and kill Callista instead. The turbo draw does not help us level up Maokai, but it, it helps us find Maokai, right? Because, like, we we need to draw Maokai. Um, I actually kind of think I sit back and block. Cause, all right, so Nexus is already 20. Trading away the Wanderer right now doesn't help. You know, like, we, like, this can actually help heal our Nexus some. Oh. If I play Callista, they could just challenge the Callista. Yeah, I guess I'll just trade those though. It's not the worst trade. Fading memories on like Dead Bloom Water are also pretty useful. Yeah, 
Which I could do that. I could do Fading Memories on this Wanderer. No, I'll just hold on to it. So I didn't sacrifice either of those to the Glimpse Beyond, because now they both have less than two or, two or less health. This Black Spear was a wonderful draw, so if they try to single combat, I have the Black Spear. Um, now we toss another three. This worked out quite well. Draw a couple. Anything else? Not really gonna be playing that thing right now. Yeah, Calissa been putting in a bunch of work. All right, cool. Better investigator. Good. Still need to find Maokai to obliterate their deck. Maokai is at 15. Could be playing the Sea Scarabs first, but I'm, I don't know, a little worried about, uh, you know, like a fight spell or something. We're doing a good job obliterating the whole deck. These Sea Scarabs are big. So we, we eventually get down to, like, where we're... Like, having a veteran investigator is really important before we, you know, obliterate, you know, before we toss all of them. Because we eventually get down to, you know, like, where we toss our whole deck besides just Maokai. Alright, that's good. Man, I can't believe we haven't drawn a Maokai yet. <laughs> I will keep us safe. Strike down the corrupt. Still looking for a Maokai. So their Jarvan's leveled up. Yeah, this looks good. I can... I'm just going to do this and their Jarvan doesn't level up. Maybe I'll just do that. You'd have to assume they have all the combat tricks, right? Like they're Freljord and Demacia, but... Oh, sorry, Static. But yeah, you're here live, seeing some Maokai decks. So we have to be pretty close to drawing Maokai, right? We should have one Callista. The egg. Did it move? Uh, 
Oh, where's Maokai? We should have one Callista, three Maokai, and so then therefore two other random cards. Ugh! Still not Maokai? Alright, so this has to be Maokai now, right? Finally. We had to just get rid of the whole rest of the deck before we found it, but we finally found it. 31 out of 25? I guess that's enough. Two cards left in the deck. We don't really have anything left to toss. Alright, so they have four cards left. So they kind of just have this round to kill me. I'm gonna. Pass. I don't know if I may I just want to play counterfeit copies. I guess I probably won't play counterfeit copies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can still just play counterfeit copies. I'm not playing the veteran investigator because if they go fight spell and kill my Maokai, then I'm going to play new Maokai. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do-do-do-do. All right, so... That's going to deal two to everything, which is going to have me have less blockers. But that, that kills, like, three of their things, though. I shouldn't be doing this. I probably shouldn't be doing that. I I did that to for the Sea Scarab, but I, I shouldn't have done that, because I just tossed all those things. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, because now we we just no. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have done that. That was a bad mis that was a mistake. Yeah, that was a mistake. Okay, that was that was a mistake. I kind of forgot about the whole toss three part of that card. I just thought of like the heal three, healing the sea scarab. But honestly, I shouldn't have healed the sea scarab anyway because then it just tossed all those. Okay, I I kind of all right. This is what happens when you play against different when you play different cards that you don't usually play. I kind of, I forgot about the whole toss three part of this. I was just thinking of the, th the heal all allies three. Yeah, that was a mistake. This should be like play or round start. Summon a sapling. a lot of life. I don't need to be too worried about dying. I don't need to be that worried about like having everything block. This would definitely have been over if I just didn't cast that Maokai sap magic. I'll just mill them out here. Let's see. 
seeing if I can still win even with that mistake. They don't have any mana to do fight spells. The Blessed Isles live through me. So that's their last card. They have to play a champion and a champion spell this round. Um, whoops. So that is technically possible with Jarvan. That it's not possible with Garen. One heart can shape the fate of a nation. All right, there we go. GGs. We will heal these isles. See, our deck is sweet. Yeah, that's what that's what we're gonna have a lot of the time though. Is as our deck has like nothing left in it and trying to get rid of their last few cards of their deck. Like that's that's gonna be a normal way for us to win. Could have been cleaner. Yep, yep. Could have been cleaner if I would have not tossed all of my veteran investigators. Um, lesson learned, Timo Ezreal. So I do toss all my cards, which is probably not good for puff caps. Yeah, we're probably not very good against puff caps. If we have like no cards in our deck and then they just like put a bunch of puff caps on our cards. This is Yeah, and we can't block elusives ever. I, I said we have some holes, and I think Teemo is honestly like a hole of our deck. <laughs> like that that's probably obviously they have around one Teemo. That's probably something that we don't do very well against. This may not end up going so well. We'll have to see. Oh, cool. The person we're playing against is in, in chat saying good luck. Cool. Okay, so we do have some Nexus healing, though, with, like, Wanderer, Thorny Toad, and... Go Thorny Toad there, so I can Caretaker the Thorny Toad. Fortunately, one veteran investigator down. We did get rid of two puff caps. So that's always good. If we can just toss all these puff caps, then you know, like that levels up and does double, but <laughs> but then that won't matter. That's not very likely. All right, we found a veteran investigator. Good. Yeah, so my opponent had multiple Teemos. Unfortunately, that's just like the card that is really, really good against us. So. Um, yeah, our deck's not perfect, 
There are things that are really good against us, and the card Teemo is one of those. So this looks pretty over. Man, we only got rid of three puff caps with all of those. We are not tossing very many puff caps at all. That's kind of crazy how little number of puff caps we've been tossing. There we go. There's 11 puff caps on those three. Finally. Very good hand against us, too. GG's opponent. It's a fun game. We're both doing, like, some different stuff. But our opponent is doing quite good. All right, so we got rid of seven puff caps there. All right, found him out, Kai. GG's. That's too bad. That was a hard counter to our deck is the card Teemo. Alright, one on one. Alright, playing against Draven Ezreal. Yeah, we're playing a mill, uh, mill deck, yep. I can't beat the card Teemo, though, unfortunately. Alright, so we're going to mulligan both of these, and I think the Urchin as well. Urchin's like a later on card. I think the Thorny Toad. All those are pretty later on cards. Cool. Got an investigator. That's always important. We gotta have an, like one, at least one investigator in our hand, and you know, of course, we have to find um, find Maokai, of course. We'll just sit back and play defense. Really hoping not Ezreal. Cool. I like pass. Um. I guess they don't even have the Mystic Shots anyway. Yeah, let's play Dead Bloom. Mm. All three of those cards are awesome in this matchup. You know, now now we counterfeit copies is useful now that we have the Investigator, but obviously the Glimpse Beyond. Um, very good against whenever they're trying to target who want Glimpse Beyonds. Okay, counterfeit's good. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think you were sniping last round. 
I don't think anybody joins chat and, and saying hello, GGs, and, and then snipes. Like, that doesn't make any sense. And yeah, our, the season's over. Rank, rank doesn't really matter right now. Okay, so we still have to dig for Maokai. Mm, unfortunately, I do have Ezreal. Really? Man, we are not getting luck. It's not bragging if you can back it up. Our deck has 19 followers in it. <laughs> that is not fortunate. You don't want to counterfeit copies like the investigator yet, because then you just have, you know, you just risk the run, the ability of just like tossing them. That foundry would be nice. Elusives are elusives are a big problem for us, right? Like we just don't have removal. Um, there we go. That's a good card. And we talked about it before. I just I our deck is supposed to block a lot, but blocking elusives is quite difficult. Give them a chance. Elusives that finish the game super fast, like Teemo and Ezreal. Not too good for us. When tribe calls, a reply is proper. The party has arrived. It's obviously not something I want to play right now, but I don't have cards. Sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Rek'Sai looks like a, a very, very strong champion for the, you know, for the Lurk decks. It looks like it's, you know, a very, um, a very narrow champion. Like, you know, if you're going to be playing Rek'Sai, you got to play all the Lurk cards and everything that they're going to have in uh, the upcoming expansion. But um, the leveled up Rek'Sai is really what looks super strong. Is it work? 
Wanted to be able to level up, you know, Maokai before playing it. Sort of a cooling strike, but of course they have like the 10 cards in hand. And, you know, I, I kind of have nothing, right? And they have, like, they're killing me. I didn't really have a choice. But yeah, these these elusives, that's why I said whenever we started this, I really hope my opponent doesn't have Ezreal. They had Ezreal immediately. Ezreal killed us, Teemo killed us. It's unfortunate that we got par like there's not many elusive champions that people are playing right now that um, you know kill you super fast. Unfortunately, we did get paired against two though, and our opponents had them immediately. You know, like they have the attack token like the even rounds. They had Ezreal immediately. I guess the main don't have it on the even rounds. They have it on the odd rounds, but still, I did have Ezreal right away. It's unfortunate that, <laughs> you know, like we're running into the elusive champions that kill you quickly. And our phones had them. Yeah, Green Glade Duo from Azir would, would kill us very quickly. Yep, that's, that's an elusive champion that kills us very quickly. I didn't say anything different, Gordek, whenever I introduced the deck. Alright, Maokai Nautilus. So this is good. Not a deck that will kill us right away. Oh. Connection issue. So now they actually say the opponent failed co to connect. So that's that's a new update. Before they just say that like your opponent concedes kind of thing and like say that you win the game. So that's new. And I'd get that question sometimes of like, why am I not getting LP whenever my opponent concedes immediately? Yeah, like we didn't, it wasn't, it was a failed connection. I'm honestly surprised they give you XP at all for just a failed connection. Okay. So obviously we're hoping not Zoe, right? You know, elusive champion that kills you quickly. Uh, we're hoping not Zoe. Um, keeping one caretaker for Zoe and... Yeah, let's keep Limpsby on. It's like the game's mocking me at this point. <laughs> it's like, oh, you said that you can't beat early champions that win the game by themselves? Well, here you go. Here's three straight decks, and we're going to make sure that they have their champion immediately. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, I guess we can play Vile Feast. It's not something we want to do, but, you know, obviously we can do it. Wouldn't really help against Ezreal, but would help against Zoe and Teemo. I'd rather just have Blackspear. 
I think Black Spear is going to be a lot more useful than Vile Feast. And... Um, we have I have one Black Spear in here, but we could definitely we could bump it up. It'd probably have to go in for the Urchin, like these Urchin, like looking through the deck, I guess like Urchin's probably the weakest card. I guess. That was the thing, is I couldn't really find places to put the removal, right? Because, like, this is a, you know, it's a combo-oriented deck that needs our combo pieces. And so it's difficult finding... Uh, finding room. There's Black Spear. Great call on discarding counterfeit copies. Just drew another one. All right, A.B. Carter, have a wonderful night. Things aren't going so good for us the last three games. Um, I did, you know, like whenever I talked about the deck, I did say that I was expecting a two and three and ranked with it. And it's still very possible to get a two and three. The first thing in like, you know, out of like all the cards that are have been played, the first thing that's gone wrong for my opponent, they immediately sad face. Gotta love it. So if I'm playing Callista, Wanderer. Yeah, I kind of decided not to play Callista this round. You know, like, I'm kind of waiting for, like, the Screeching Dragon attack before I play Callista. That's what I was thinking. Um, but yeah, I guess it could have, could have gone with the Caretaker. I'm kind of still planning on going with the Caretaker. But wanted to do it the next round. Eh, 
I don't, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say that we could have leveled Callista. I mean, their whole deck is, like, they should have a good amount of fight spells and everything, right? Like, that's, like, kind of what their deck does is have fight spells. And so I think we, we play Callista, it dies. I think that, that's the most likely scenario. Of course, Callista is simply um, bait for me. So 16. I need to have nine more things die slash get tossed. I can certainly see, like, this Fading Memories is tough. You know, with, between Blighted Caretaker, Dead Bloom Wanderer, The Traveler. We have decent options. Can't win this if things go right. My spirit shines. Give them a chance. cards. Please don't get a big elusive. Man, one more turn. Like they're they're dead next turn. Like they, they have this turn to attack and kill me. Right? Like this this is the only turn they have left to kill me. 
Like with these with these cards, I'm I'm killing them next turn. That's too bad. I I mean I, I should just kill the uh, the other elusive I guess you know like I should have killed that three three elusive so that that's my fault. I, that's what I should have done with the black spears kill that and just ignored the screeching dragon. Should have gone for that. Man. Yeah, that's that's what I lost to. That was again turn one Zoe though, really, you know, owning up with that double stun. Alright, so Alright, we're still gonna get this two three. Okay, not an elusive champion, right? They can't just like immediately go with an elusive champion. The fearsome actually is going to be kind of difficult for us, but not an elusive champion immediately. So you got to love that. Because that is the biggest hole of our deck. Now, are we going to, like, stop a whole bunch of fearsome stuff? Good chance that answer is no. But we're at least not going to die in the same way. I don't like that they just have all their fearsome cards, but hopefully Caretaker can help take out some of these things. Not a bad start. The desert by my side. Yeah, not a bad start for them. Just attacking for 19 on round two. Let's make that a lot more. Or round three, I mean. Not a bad start at all. Not a bad start. I think they played almost every single. They played all but one card in their hand the first three rounds. Yeah, neat. We've had we've had three opponents. You know, those two are really Azir ones that we lost to earlier than that one. We've had three opponents play like tier one decks and just completely nut draws today. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately I didn't get to really show off the deck that much, but we did get that first one, and that first one, you know, showed off the deck. Um you know, besides that, we had that ridiculous last game hand and then some elusive champions that were played immediately. So we had some, we had, you know, some really poor luck in those five games. And that's going to happen. Our, our deck, like I said at the very beginning, this is this was the least competitive of the three decks, but it, it got to do something really cool and, and something a little different. And, you know, we showed that off in the first game. Um, but then, you know, our, our opponents had... Um, you know, all the stuff that they could ever want the last four games in a row. <laughs> and so that's going to happen. Um, yeah, so maybe we need more Black Spears, right? Like, that's like kind of the card that I was talking about that we could have more of. We This deck really doesn't need the Hexcore Foundries. People talked about, like, Urchin going away, but we also, like, missed on a Stalking Shadows. Which you don't really want to ever miss on a Stalking Shadows. 
Um, and so like the urchins are kind of important, but you don't actually really need the foundries. I think that's what um, I would probably get rid of to get more removal in here is uh, getting rid of those. That, that could that could probably help you out now did we ever have like we didn't actually have like the foundries but you know that's a possibility that we could have um i don't think it need you know the need more toss less draw i don't think that that's honestly really the case like you got to find your maokais and stuff but i think there was a, enough toss in here I, th I think there was i think i think we did uh pretty good so you know we did go one four if our opponent doesn't have like that like that um zoe dragon player like we're honestly like looking just fine there until the um huge spell shield elusive which you know killed us that it you know attacks her over half our life total without that thing we were about to win the next round like i i had everything set up like they they had one attack round to kill me and they just play a 12 power elusive that killed me um without that we we did have that game so it was almost a two three almost a two three all right, but that's going to be it here for Maokai Mill. Wanted to showcase a different type of Maokai deck. Um, sorry I got some tough matchups. Sorry my opponents had amazing hands. That's going to happen when you're trying on over in a Master's rank. But it's still a really cool deck, and I, I think it's competitive. Um, but there there are definitely some things that it struggles against. And I, more Black Spears probably helps out. And I think that, that could be a, a good change for it overall. All right, but that's going to be it here for Maokai Mill. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video. <laughs> see, Puppy liked this one. What do you think, Puppy? Or maybe she's happy that this one's done, and <laughs> we're going to the next deck.